Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at E-Trailer and today we're actually in the parking lot of E-Trailer as we have our tow day. So this is a chance to talk with vendors, see some products that might be new and just kind of what's interesting. And luckily I'm here with Jeff who works for Demco and he's going to be the expert here with the auto slide. So we're going to take a look at this. This is going to be a great option for you short bed uh, truck owners and it's going to allow you to slide that way you're not smacking the cab corners on your truck in those turns. So Jeff, tell us a little bit about it. Hi. Uh, yes, this is our 18 k well, What's shown here is our 21K auto slide. We also offer a 18K auto slide, and we also offer a 13K auto slide, uh, depending on uh, what you're towing and uh, basically what vehicle you're towing with. Uh, the 13K is not shown here, but what it's designed for is your five and a half foot beds. Uh, so if you have a truck with a five and a half foot bed, uh, you wanted the crew cab, so you wanted more room in the cab, but you wanted uh, you know, something to fit in your garage, uh, a lot of times a five and a half foot bed might be your choice, but then all of a sudden your camper doesn't uh, quite work. You can't do 90 degree turns, uh, the bulkhead uh, ends up hitting the back window, can knock your back window out, and cause all kinds of uh, issues. So we at uh, Demco designed some uh, auto slides. Again, that 13K not shown here, but what it does is when you turn, the head automatically will go uh, two and three quarters from side to side. So it gives you a little more clearance, but then the travel it has two openings instead of the one here, and it'll go to the, the one side and then travel 22 and a half inches uh, front to back. So what that allows you is to do, on most applications, a 90 degree turn uh, with a five and a half foot bed. Uh, we're the only one in the marketplace that makes one for the five and a half foot bed, and that gives you that much travel, 22 and a half inches plus the, the side to side of the uh, uh, head. Uh, what makes ours stand out a little bit from our competition beyond that is our heads. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're buying a stationary uh, head, or excuse me, hitch from uh, Dimco, or an auto slide or a manual slide. Ours come with all the same heads, so there's really no difference in the heads. Uh, what we do differently than our competition, we do a 360 jaw system. So it's kind of hard to see when it moves fast, but as you can see, that's cut out, and this, this will come over the top of that. So it comes over, so you get a complete 360, plus then the locking bar. So you have a solid two and a half inches of steel that protect that kingpin uh, from coming de detached. Uh, we actually had an in-consumer send us a photo once of uh, a rollover that he had with his uh, truck and uh, camper. Uh, the camper rolled over with the truck, they had the tow truck come out, flip the truck back over, the camper flipped back over with it, never disconnected. So that tells you how strong that bar and that 360 jaw system is. And again, we do that on every uh, hitch that Dimco offers. What's unique about the auto slide versus our standard one, we call them wings. So we, we uh, uh, add these uh, wings to it, and then we add these uh, uh, capture plates. So what these capture plates do is captures the uh, pin box, and so when you turn, it automatically turns the head. When the head turns, it automatically follows the uh, track, and it'll go for up to 14 inches back. So if you slightly turn, you're going to get a little move movement back. You do a 90 degree turn like to a gas station, your campsite, it'll do the full 14 inches of travel. That is for your six and a half foot bed uh, trucks, and that'll work on most applications to get a 90 degree turn out of. Uh, so that's unique. Uh, also, if you have any clearance issues on the on the rails of your truck, you have, if you have a, a tunnel cover, got a little lip that's sticking up, uh, it also offers three height positions. So it's it's basically on the side plates here. So uh, when you get ready to, to, to install it and uh, do your initial install, these three holes are your height positions. So right now it's in the middle, so you can raise it to the higher position or you can lower it to the lower position. You kind of want the, the, the camper and the truck as level as possible going down the highway so you don't get some uh, you know, squirreliness out of, out of the uh, tow. So that's uh, kind of unique to us too, the, the, the height adjustment. Um, this one's showing on a, on a standard industry standard rail system. Uh, we now offer uh, the 18K and 21K that you can buy specifically for the GM that has the uh, factory puck system. Mm -hmm. You can buy it for the Ford with the factory puck system, and you can buy it for the Ram with the factory puck system. So instead of having the rail system, these sides will have these cylinders that actually go down in the factory puck system, and then uh, it's good to go. It's easy, easy install, no brackets necessary, no rails necessary, and when you take the hitch out, what's nice, you got to have a nice clean bed with no rails. Very nice. Uh, this one is showing with rails. We do sell our hitches with or without rails. So you, if you already had a hitch and you're upgrading to a different, you know, to a Dimco hitch, and you already have a sta uh, industry standard rails, you can use your rails. Our hitch will drop right in, right in there. Beautiful. Um, if you do have our, our uh, uh, hitch already and you, you upgrade your truck and you get one with the OE puck system, you can actually buy uh, the puck system separately and make that a, a puck install as well. So. Uh, Try to make it uh, easy for the end consumer, easy for the uh, installers, uh, that type of thing, and uh, we, we feel we've done a pretty good job at that. 
Uh, so that is our auto slide. And this definitely fills uh, you know, a nice spot in the market because I've seen trucks with the shorter beds come in and unfortunately the cab corners are smashed in and you do that once and that's enough to go shoot. And so maybe hard to go out and get a long bed truck. This is gonna be an awesome option. That way you can get that clearance that you need. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice, well Jeff, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully this helps you see some good options if you have that short bed and that way you're not damaging your cab corners or if you have your long bed, you have the recon as an option as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it, thank, thank you. you.